According to a 2022 report, there are about 216 people in the Roanoke Valley experiencing homelessness. That's why a Roanoke native returned to his hometown to build a solution. 10 News reporter Alexis Davila gives us a look inside a new shelter built to withstand different seasons, but with a homey touch. It may look like a small shed from the outside, but inside lies a new opportunity to get one more person off the streets. With windows, lights, and solar panels installed, Brandon Brando designed an eight feet by four feet shelter. We don't want them to feel like they have to keep moving or that they're gonna be pushed off or pushed away or told to leave. We want them to really feel like this is home sweet home. Brando thought of everything for this place. We're talking about insulation, a fan, even a coffee maker to a little bit more homey, and also locks on the door here to keep all of her belongings safe and sound. So she doesn't have to take everything with her every time she has to be, every time she moves. The home was created for Dawn, a woman Tiffany Helm found on Williamson Road three months ago. When Helm told Dawn about the surprise, she said Dawn could not hold back her excitement. She was just like, her eyes were big and she said, she said, for me, you know, is this for me? Um, she was so excited and she said, well, how many days? You know, and she started putting her hands up. Or are you talking about five days? How many days? When are you going to have it ready for me? Helm says Rono can't keep pushing the homeless away. Rather, they can invest in new solutions. When you care for others and people see that you care, I believe that you have no choice but to get a good response back. Brando and Helm plan to arrange a time to officially welcome Dawn to her new home. In Roanoke, Alexis Davila, 10 News, working for you.